What's up, GW fans? I'm Sajil Govindrao from GW TV's Unstoppable. Welcome to Athlete Spotlight, where we interview athletes about what they are doing to make the most of these unprecedented times. Joining me today is GW baseball player and graduate student, Jarrett Edwards. Edwards is a team leader in pitching with six appearances despite a shortened 2020 season, 14 strikeouts, and an earned run average of 2.2, the second lowest on the team. Today, I will be talking with Jared about his preparation for the upcoming season, what he hopes to accomplish, and how he hopes to stay connected with his teammates that are not in DC. Jared, you're a graduate student. What is it like to have had your senior season cut short earlier this year? At the time, were you expecting those to be the final moments of your baseball career? And what is it like having the ability to come back for a fifth season? Hey, Sajel, thanks for, thanks for doing the interview. Um, yeah, so... So when when the virus started spreading and we started seeing other conferences uh, cancel their seasons, you know, we certainly thought it would it, it was a possibility, but nobody actually thought that something like that could happen until it actually happened. Um, and I still remember the day it was after practice um, when we got the news that our season was canceled and everybody was devastated, myself included. Um, but I, I feel that the NCAA did did a really good thing. They gave all the seniors and everybody the year back. And I'm just grateful for that. I know my classmates are really grateful for that. Um, so, you know, it's just, you just got to take, take advantage of the second, the second opportunity. Definitely. And so what have you been doing to bond with your team for the upcoming season? So over the summer, our team did, uh, a little bit of a competition um, just to stay in the competitive spirit where we did baseball trivia, baseball IQ. We would get on uh, a WebEx call every week um, and we, we'd bond together that way, learning more about the game. Uh, since we've gone back to school, we haven't had as many um, moments like that, but I'm still keeping up with uh, not only my classmates, but, but the new guys as well on, on almost a daily basis. Uh, those guys look to me for, for advice in baseball or advice in school. And I just, I wanna see how their transition has been um, out in DC because I know that their lives are a lot more, a lot more different than what my life is like back home. Yeah, and you mentioned um, kind of your dialogue with some of the underclassmen on the team. So as an upperclassman, what advice do you have for the younger players on the team? Oh, this, I'm sure this wasn't the college experience that they were expecting going to DC. Um, and basically living a life of online school and then practice um, and nothing outside of that. So I've just been saying, push forward. All right, look, look into the season. We've got a great team coming back and everything mm -hmm. that you do outside of school affects what will happen in the spring. If you make the right decisions, we're going to have a really seamless transition into the spring. If you don't make the right decisions, then it might be a little bit of a rocky go. But as long as the guys keep on uh, keep on their dedication to doing the right things, wearing masks, social distancing. Uh, there's no, no reason that we shouldn't have a successful season going forward. And I know a lot of the guys have been doing just that. It's, it's been great to see from afar. Yeah, definitely. So we've talked a bit about looking forward, but I want to reflect back on your past moments as a baseball player at GW. Uh, what has been your favorite team moment so far? My sophomore year, we had the pleasure of hosting the A-10 tournament, and it was a wild year for us. We started the conference, we started at the top of the conference at the beginning of the year, and we had some guys banged up, and we just squeaked into the conference tournament. And little do you know, four games later, we eliminated three of the top teams in the, in the conference, and we were one of the last three teams standing. I love competitive baseball. I love meaningful baseball. And there's nothing more competitive and nothing more meaningful than playing in elimination games. And for us to go on a streak to knock out three straight playoff teams while we were doing it on our own turf was just an unbelievable experience for myself and, and the rest of the team. Yeah. And so aside from the team, let's talk about you individually for a moment. What kind of impact has baseball had on your life and how have you changed and grown throughout your athletic career at GW? Oh, wow. Um, baseball is such a humbling game, right? There's the old cliche. If a person fails seven out of 10 times, they're a Hall of Famer. Um, and nowadays, baseball is even harder. The players are better. 
the hitters hit the ball harder, the pitchers throw the ball harder. Um, so to be able to bounce back from every, from every time that you trickle down um, is, is not only, uh, it's not only been something that the GW coaches have helped me guide, get through, but it's also something that's going to help me later on in life. You know, I know that um, one little failure isn't the end of the world. And that's what baseball has taught me. Um, I, it's just, uh, it's, it's such a game. It's a game that you never know what's coming. And if something doesn't go your way, there's always another pitch. There's always another inning. There's always another game to be played. So if you have that mindset in life that you're going to get another shot, it's okay. That's going to treat you really well. And that's what baseball has taught me. Yeah. And so you've carried resilience with you um, throughout your career at GW, um, your baseball career at GW. So what are your goals um, for the upcoming season, whether it be PRs or something else? Um, and how have you been working to achieve them through this past time in quarantine during the pandemic? So personally, I want to have the best season that I've had so far, which might be difficult because of some of the seasons that I've had before. But I don't think that's going to stop me. Um, my goal is to be one of the biggest contributors on the pitching staff. Um, and the way that I hope to get to that goal has been through my off season workouts at home. Um, I, I, I put together a very good routine, uh, a weekly routine of my baseball habits. And I go out um, and I work out with other college baseball players who are at home or other professional minor league baseball players who are at home. So I'm, I've been surrounding myself with guys who've got the same goal. Hey, let's make this next season the best one that we've had. Because like we've been talking about, you don't know if there's going to be another one. So it's just been my goal and my, my, my workout buddies' goals and a lot of my teammates' goals that, hey, we're just going to leave it all out there um, and try to have the best season we've had so far. Absolutely. Jared, thank you so much. That is all the time we have today. But if you're looking to see more of Jared and the rest of the GW baseball team, follow their Instagram at GW baseball one. If you're looking to follow along with this series, follow us at GWTV underscore unstoppable. We'll see you soon, GW fans.